I don't like co-opting low-income families and their needs to push through an agenda for private schools. Low-income families do not need scholarships to private schools. They need their public schools to have funding and teachers and counselors and social workers and mental health providers and nurses and librarians. That's what low-income families need. They need housing. They need affordable housing that they can live in. They need to build wealth. They need food. This is not a solution for the achievement gap. These schools can choose their students. There are so many families in my district whose kids go to the schools I was educated in where private schools would never choose their kids, and they know that. We are picking and choosing who benefits by doing this. In greater Minnesota, there are not private schools all around for students to go to. What about them? There are not private schools that accept families like mine if I had kids with my wife. What about them? There are private schools who do not accept children with disabilities. What about them? Education in this country, and especially in this state, is for every student. And with this, we decide which types of students we would like to invest in more. I urge you to vote green on Representative Davney's amendment, and I thank you for bringing it.